Corporate Finance, Cash Management International. Let's dance with Corporate Finance. Cash Management International. In our prior presentation, we took a look at cash management strategies in general. Now we're going to add on the added complexity of if we have transactions that are international type of transactions. The general rule still applies. We would typically like to have less cash because we would like to have our cash working for us, but we want to have the cash on hand to meet our immediate needs and also to be there in the event of an emergency. If we have international type of transactions, we have a little bit more complexity. There could be different payment methods, generally more electronic fund transfers. Obviously, we could have different payment methods that will be in place if we're doing international type of payments. And typically, we're going to be using those or having more electronic funds that will be transferred. Most deal with time zone differences, international boundaries, currency fluctuations, and interest rate changes. These will add complexities to transactions that are going to be international transactions. Obviously, when we're thinking about exchanges and whatnot, and there's differences in time zones, that'll give us a little bit more complexity. International boundaries are going to give us a little bit complexity. And then to know what the currency fluctuations are, if we're dealing with different types of currencies and exchanging currencies, that will, of course, deal with complexity and interest rates could change as well. So maybe different banking and check clearing systems. So we might have different systems that we need to be dealing with from the different locations as well. We can also have different information reporting systems, how we need to report that information, tax and accounting differences. Taxes will always complex, make things more complex if we're dealing with different types of tax systems. Then not only do we have to deal with the taxes themselves, but the, uh, the application of the tax laws in different areas and as well as the accounting for those differences which could complicate manners uh, companies generally want to keep cash in country with a strong currency so the incentive will then be if i'm holding on to cash and now i have international transactions my my goals are typically the same in that i want to have as little cash as possible and use that cash to meet our immediate needs as well as emergencies when i'm holding on to the cash I don't want to have a lot of risk that the cash is going to go down in value due to differences in currencies. I'd like to be having my, my cash in a currency that's going to be a strong currency. If we're doing then financial transactions in other currencies, that could lead to us to having accounts that we would like to have kind of clearing type of accounts, the accounts that we can then put money in quickly to basically do the transactions with while maintaining a bulk of our cash in the currencies that we believe are going to be strong currencies which will typically be uh, safer places to be holding on to the money